Hey everyone, it's Mark Weens in Bangkok, Thailand, and today I am working on an update for my Bangkok ebook, which is 101 Things to Do in Bangkok. And so we're gonna do a couple things around here in Bangkok. But the first place that we're stopping is we're going to meet a friend uh, whose name is Pi Oi. She works at a hotel here, so we just took the BTS to Tong Law Station. We're gonna go check out the hotel, and I think we're gonna have lunch with her before we go to some other places. This is called Namatum, which I think in English is called bale juice. Okay, send them away. Send them here. Mmm. Kind of has like a sweet cinnamon flavor to it. Okay, we're just taking a tour now of Napa Place, and it's not really a hotel, but it's more of a residence, a bed and breakfast, and a really home. It's like a home, a second home. So which room is this? This is the executive, this is the executive suite? suite. Okay. Yeah. This is the executive. Oh, it's extremely spacious. I know. And have a coffee, coffee, a beautiful coffee station over here. Whoa, it's huge. I didn't even see the bed yet. Okay. Here's a, the bed. And oh, yeah, very, very nice. Now we're in the regular room, but it's still huge. And over here is a relaxing area. All of the cabinets and the floor are made from teak wood. So that's really nice. And just a quiet place and very good location as well. Very close to Tong Law Station. So now we are going for lunch. Sit down. Sit We just showed up at a restaurant called My Choice which I have never been here before, so it's a Thai restaurant. This one is Pad Tam Lung, which is ivy gourd leaves. This one is Gung Pad Zata, which is stink beans stir-fried with shrimp, but there's also minced pork in it. And then this one is Geng Kia Wan, with, with beef. And then we also, oh, and the Geng Kia Wan, the green curry is served with roti. And then also, Another dish we got is gang pet pet yang, which is uh, duck roasted duck curry, and you can see there are tomatoes in there and pea eggplant. And, oh, the last dish has arrived called bulon, a crab dip with coconut milk. Mm. Okay, I'm starting with the duck curry. Mm. Yeah, the duck is nice and tender, and then that's like a red, a red curry sauce with coconut milk. I think I'll put some of this on my plate real fast. Oh ho 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 ho! Okay, and then I'll pick up that piece of roti. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> I forgot to tell you. Mm. No, all right, mom, hot. That combination is fantastic. Um, that roti is nice and crispy, and then the green curry is extremely creamy. That's some, some serious coconut milk, coconut cream. Okay, I just put some of the bulon onto my rice, and I will probably grab a, a piece, I think that's young ginger, and a long bean, and then eat it off. Oh. Yeah. I think there's some mixed minced pork in there, as well as crab. And then it almost has a cheesy flavor because of that coconut milk. The food was actually very good, everything was good, and the dishes were really rich and creamy. And now we are going to go have coffee with Pi Oi. Okay, and I didn't know, but we are jumping on motorbikes to get there. We were gonna go here called Daddy Carfe. Oh, Carfe with cars, but they're closed. So I guess we gotta go to the next cafe. I, 
Okay, we're just coming up to this other coffee shop called Cafe Cup. Our Americano lawn cup. Cup and cup. And now we're gonna try to take a taxi, but we gotta cross over the street, over that side. We are in a taxi now on our way to a place called Ban Kut Krit, which is a heritage home and now it's a museum located in the Satan area of Bangkok, which is the kind of the financial uh, downtown district. Uh, but this is a place that I've never been to and I think I want to include it in the upcoming release of the new ebook, 101 Things to Do in Bangkok. Luckily we got here just in time because they shut at 4 and I think it's, is it 3.30 now? 3, okay it's 3.15 but luckily we got here just in time, bought our tickets for entrance 50 baht. This is the former residence of Mr. Kukrit Pramon and he was a very important person in Thailand. He was a university teacher as well as a writer and also he was the 13th Prime Minister of Thailand. And so this is his former uh, historical residence and it's just an absolutely beautiful residence uh, with five different houses, each of them made from wood and in the traditional Thai style with a beautiful garden surrounding. This tree right outside the house is just filled with pigeons. Look at all those pigeons. Oh, okay, that's why they are feeding the pigeons down there on the, on the ground there. And in the back here, there's a beautiful garden. Looks like there's a a pond below with uh, lotus. One of the things that's amazing about this house is that this is a very traditional old style wooden home but surrounding it since we are in the downtown financial district of Bangkok you can just see in the background all of the skyrise buildings, their banks, their condos, uh, but just the contrast this is just a peaceful haven in the middle of skyscrapers. Yeah it's like a private botanical garden and traditional Thai home in the middle of downtown financial Bangkok. And hello chicken. Hello guy. No, guy. No, guy. No, no, guy. An amazing heritage house and amazing grounds and uh, plants and flowers. I think it was well worth the 50 baht entrance fee. If I ever have a chance to own a house like that in the future, that would be awesome. Somewhere in the countryside just a pure relaxation type of traditional Thai house. Uh, and now we are walking out towards Chongnon Sea. gonna try to go to another museum called the Bangkokian Museum which is not too far away but unfortunately it is about 4.45 so I don't think we can make it there in time before they close so instead we're gonna do the best thing I can think of and that is go to have dinner. We jumped back in a taxi and we're on our way to a street not too far away uh, to go to a restaurant that I have been wanting to go to for a long time. I'm not sure exactly where this restaurant is but it's somewhere around here so we just jumped out of the taxi and now gonna just walk around and try to find it and I hope they're open. We made it to the restaurant called Nyo Wan Pla and they serve a bunch of different seafood dishes and especially a rice soup. I'm so thirsty after walking here. All of the food has just arrived and it looks fantastic. Uh, but I'm gonna make a full video about this restaurant so I'm just gonna give you guys a quick overview of the different dishes we got. This one is called um, Luak Jim and it is a different mixture of seafood. There's squid, some massive prawns on here and also fish with a dipping sauce. And this one is the Kaltong Pla, the rice soup with fish. 
and then this dish is gung opunsen, which is uh, shrimp, which I think I guess they're on the bottom of there. Um, but then glass noodles, mung bean noodles, and then finally this one is tom yum. Tom yum malai kami. Tom yum pla mai. Okay, so it's uh, tom yum made with fish, uh, barramundi fish, and it's just full of culantro, which is that herb, and then mushrooms as well. Oh, 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 just look at that. Oh, that's awesome. It is such a firm and fresh shrimp. And then that seafood sauce is, it's actually quite spicy, has a zing to my tongue. All of that food was really good and all of the seafood was extremely fresh. And again, I'm gonna make a full video about this meal. Um, so coming up soon, you can check that out. And now the tough part is trying to get home in Bangkok at 6 p.m. Ying and I have decided to take a walk. So we're gonna walk back to the BTS. It's not too far, but I'm not sure exactly how far it is but it might take about 20 to 30 minutes to walk there. But we need the exercise today. Oh, and there's an ice cream truck coming up behind me. We definitely don't need that right now. We made it to Sapan Taksin BTS station, uh, which is right along the river, but we're not gonna see the river. We're gonna head back into town and get home from here. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you have any questions, leave a comment below, and I'll see you on the next video. Oh, I thought the train was coming. I guess it didn't come yet. Oh, there it is, yep, okay. Okay, thank you all for watching and I will see you on the next video.